so I cut up this is I cut up a pepper into in half each pepper in half and then I cut them in half again each piece in half again so I took this size and I put them and I these I cut down to very small pieces because I'm going to give them to the guppies um, let's see I'm gonna sprinkle some in now and see if they like it uh, but I initially cut it cut some sweet peppers up mini sweet peppers up for the placos and the shrimp because they've been eating whatever that's that they find but this is not what they really prefer like the placos prefer to eat veggies so I'm gonna see how they take to it and I'll show you where I put them because they said you can put them in placo feeders and I'm like ah, I gotta rig something up so I'll show you what I rigged up so we're here with the guppies They might, the chunks might be a little too big. Dang, they sunk. Okay, I didn't expect them to sink. Because the bigger pieces didn't sink. Why is this light so messed up? Okay. Oh, they're tearing it up. You can't see it. Let me see. Oh my gosh, it's so hard to see. They're trying to eat it. So I I hand cut them, but the, their mouths, yeah, their mouths are not doing it. They're trying though. Hopefully they don't choke and die. I'm looking at them and they don't. They're excited about it. So my, that's gonna have to stay. What I'll do is, the remainder I will put over on this side of the tank, but I'll put them in the ninja and chop them down real small. The beta might be able to eat them, but these guppies, then that's not fitting in their mouth. Okay, so we'll, we'll, we'll come back to that. Um, so what else I did was I put them and I stuck them in. There we go. Let's make it darker. I stuck them in the ends of the um, what is that? Of the little the wooden house shrimp houses that that I got. Um, so I don't see any shrimp interested yet. There's one ghost shrimp right there hanging out. Mm, I don't see any other other shrimp. They kind of like need to take a little while. When I'm doing stuff, when I stick my hands in their tank, they're like, oh, hell, she's trying to get us again. So they they kind of take a little to get adjusted. But, and the Placos are still in the same spot. They look pretty sleepy. So um, eventually they'll probably find these peppers. Um, so we'll see. But I'm thinking that like the colorful veggies will brighten up the colors of the um of the guppies as well and give them they're clearly interested. So um I used a paring knife to cut these small chunks and I thought that would be small enough, but it's probably better for you to use the little cup option on the ninja or whatever food processor you have and make sure that the pieces are really fine so that that way they can eat them. Um, when you give them a lot of protein, as you know, if you eat a lot of protein, you kind of want to take in some veggies so that you don't have your poop compacted. So if you notice that you have poop hang uh, stuck to the butts of your fish, veggies like zucchini, cucumber, you can even give them garlic, um... I'm about to do that right now, and I'll just throw a little pe one piece of garlic in with the rest of the, the three the tricolor sweet peppers, and then I'll blend them down into a nice little fine feed, and I'll throw that in there. Cause today they got they they're getting taken care of hardcore today because I've just been giving them the feeder food, and their poop is just kind of like stuck to their butts. 
and I know that they probably just need some veggies so I'm gonna do that